5 a.m. in 1942. The day begins early when the world is at war. We're exactly 10 minutes to be dressed as I am, outside, ready to go for PT. These seven young men all descend from Second World War flight crews. In fact, three of their grandfathers flew together on a Lancaster. All right, here's where we separate the men from the boys. Let's get going. The longer we stand around, the longer we're going to freeze our asses out. The boys have almost no military experience, but they volunteer to live as wartime trainees, which was, of course, a mistake. Because as their granddad should have told them, the first rule of military life is never volunteer. and I'm thinking about her every other second. And I'm, I'm really ready to just get this done and get out of here. It's so hard yeah, just getting like three things. or four hours it's sleep really a night and then like waking up at like 5.30 and then just doing sort of physical training in the morning. It's just like, it's just the worst possible start to a day you can <sighs> possibly imagine. Just, yeah, the mornings are pretty long. They're just, uh, just so hard. You have about 10 minutes before you have, you have to be dressed, have everything organized so that you're ready for the inspection. Move. Between 1939 and 1944, almost 200,000 young men came to air crew camps like this. The days were long, the training tough and unforgiving. It had to be. The air war was cold, brutal, and merciless. Death by flak, death by fighter, death by collision. If these seven recruits really had gone to war, three would have died in combat, one would have been injured, one would have become a POW, and only two would have come home safely. 